We're only a week into 2025, and SpaceX is already gearing up for what might be the most exciting rocket launch of the year, the highly anticipated launch of Starship Super Heavy. But that's not all. SpaceX has kicked off the year with some impressive achievements and ambitious plans to make 2025 their most successful year yet. In today's video, we'll cover all the latest updates, from Flight 7 preparations to their groundbreaking accomplishments so far. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future updates about Starship and SpaceX's other incredible milestones. Let's get started. The time between Starship test flights has been shrinking as SpaceX accelerates its efforts to make Starship the most advanced and reliable space vehicle in history. The program's first integrated flight test took place in April 2023, and the intervals between subsequent flights have steadily decreased. By 2025, SpaceX has reached a point where the turnaround between major test flights is measured in weeks rather than months. This rapid progress reflects their dedication to refining the technology and moving closer to their goal of fully reusable space transportation. Flight 7, the next Starship launch, is scheduled for January 10th, 2025. The launch will take place at SpaceX's Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas. This mission will involve Booster 14 and Ship 33, marking the debut of a new generation of upper-stage vehicles designed with numerous upgrades to improve performance and reusability. One of the most exciting aspects of this flight is that it will be the first time Starship deploys payloads in space. The spacecraft will carry 10 Starlink simulators, which are designed to mimic the size and weight of SpaceX's next-generation satellites. This will allow engineers to test the deployment process and gather valuable data for future operational missions. Another critical objective of Flight 7 is to relight a single Raptor engine in space. Successfully reigniting the engine is a crucial step toward enabling complex orbital maneuvers, which are essential for missions beyond Earth's orbit, including trips to the Moon and Mars. This engine test is a demonstration of the spacecraft's flexibility and capability to perform precise adjustments during flight. The mission also includes a plan for Ship 33 to execute a controlled vertical landing in the Indian Ocean. This test is another significant milestone in SpaceX's efforts to make Starship fully reusable. If successful, it will bring the company closer to its long-term vision of drastically reducing the cost of space travel by allowing spacecraft to be reused multiple times, similar to how commercial airplanes operate. SpaceX has been preparing for Flight 7 for several months, and all efforts are now coming together as the launch date approaches. The individual stages of the spacecraft have already completed their tests, and the focus has shifted to the final integration phase. The B-14 booster was successfully transported to the launch pad, marking a key milestone in the mission's preparation. On January 2nd, the flight termination system was installed on B-14, a critical step in ensuring the safety of the upcoming launch. The next major step involves stacking Ship 33 on top of B-14, where the final integration process will take place. This will bring the spacecraft to its complete configuration, ready for launch. SpaceX has also released observation aircraft schedules and maps, allowing for tracking of the flight from a safe distance, adding to the anticipation. Excitement continues to grow as SpaceX confirmed that Flight 7 will introduce Starship Version 2, a next-generation spacecraft featuring significant upgrades. Starship Version 2 brings major advancements to improve performance and reliability. The forward flaps have been redesigned to be smaller, with sharper edges, and repositioned closer to the tip of the vehicle. This adjustment not only enhances navigation, but also provides improved heat protection during re-entry. A 25% increase in fuel volume enables longer missions, while advancements in the fuel feed lines further improve efficiency. The heat shield has been upgraded with next-generation tiles and a backup protective layer to ensure durability even in the event of tile damage. Additionally, the new avionic system includes more powerful computers, updated sensors, and a backup communication system, enhancing the spacecraft's control during flight. For the first time, 
Starship will also feature Starlink capabilities, streaming over 120 megabytes per second of high-definition video. This will allow engineers and viewers to track the spacecraft's journey with greater precision than ever before. Flight 7 will also make history as the first Starship mission to deploy payloads in space. Ten Starlink simulators designed to mimic the size and weight of the next-generation Starlink satellites will be sent into a suborbital trajectory. This is an important test for future satellite deployment missions. SpaceX is also laying the groundwork for future advancements such as catching the second stage during re-entry. To prepare for this, engineers have removed certain tiles from the spacecraft to stress test vulnerable areas and have introduced new metallic tiles and an active cooling system. These improvements aim to enhance the spacecraft's durability and heat management during re-entry. Additionally, radar sensors will be tested on the chopstick system, which will play a crucial role in accurately measuring the distance between the vehicle and the catching mechanism during future missions. In terms of future flights, SpaceX has ambitious plans for 2025. Following Flight 7, they aim to conduct several additional missions, each with increasingly complex objectives. One of the most groundbreaking advancements expected this year is the demonstration of in-orbit refueling between two Starship vehicles. The FAA has issued 25 launch licenses for Starship flights in 2025, a significant step forward for SpaceX. However, this wasn't always the case. In the early days of Starship's development, the FAA was a major obstacle. Launch licenses for the first couple of Starship flights took months to be approved, causing long delays and disrupting SpaceX's aggressive testing schedule. To address these delays, SpaceX and other private space companies began pushing back. They highlighted the issue in Senate hearings, lobbied lawmakers, and engaged in direct discussions with the FAA. Musk and other industry leaders argued that these delays were holding back progress and putting the U.S. at a disadvantage in the global space race. Over time, these efforts led to changes in how the FAA handled launch approvals. By 2024, the FAA started improving its processes. A key turning point was the approval of licenses for both Flight 5 and Flight 6 at the same time. This marked the first instance where SpaceX could plan and execute back-to-back -back flights without waiting months for a separate approval. Flight 7, scheduled for January 10, 2025, is the next big milestone. The FAA approved this launch without significant delays. Flight 7 will test critical objectives, including deploying payloads for the first time, relighting a Raptor engine in space, and attempting a controlled landing of the second stage in the Indian Ocean. The FAA's decision to issue 25 licenses is a major step, but it also raises questions about whether SpaceX can handle such a demanding schedule. Conducting 25 Starship launches in a single year will require significant operational efficiency, fast turnaround times, and well-coordinated efforts at their launch facilities. SpaceX has proven its ability to handle high launch frequencies with the Falcon 9 program, which completed 138 launches in 2024. However, Starship is a more complex system and scaling its operations to this level will be a challenge. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.